Well, good morning, everybody. This is like week two of the coronavirus isolation quarantine. And I hope that you are enjoying all your extra Revit time that you're getting. Um, I wanted to uh, look at these uh, colors for our exterior. Uh, everybody complains about the beige clapboard siding. <clears throat> so I said, okay, we're going to make a change. Uh, because this project spec cedar, okay? And when you looked at the EFIS color, it was a default gray, which is kind of blah. So I I've, I've made, I've made changes to the EFIS. And let me show you um, what, that was, that was an easy change, okay? So let me move my coffee cup. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Come on, there we go. All right. So what I did with this is I changed my colors and my pattern. Now, let me show you um, what I did. Let me pull my browser over here. I did a search for EFIS colors and came up here, the Drive It company, which is one of the well-known manufacturers of EFIS materials and i looked at their different colors and i said ah, i like red clay because we're going with a cedar clapboard up there okay so i said red clay that looks good all right and so next i w and took a bigger look at it there all right and so next i went to good old google and i typed in red clay rgb code and if you want to look through these you can pick up well this is a a paint color here, Pratt and Lambert paint. Okay. And so I took these RGB colors. I did 68% red, 31% green, 28% blue. Okay. And that's what I typed in right here in my, uh, under my appearance, because this one comes up with paint. Okay, and I just changed the RGB color right here, clicked in there, and doo -doo -doo -doo, typed them in. Okay, graphics, uh, use render appearance, that's fine, or you can type in the color there again. And I added a mortar uh, surface pattern to it, so drafting surface pattern, okay? It gives it a little little texture uh, in our, our drawing, okay? And so that was my EFIS change there. Okay, now for the siding, that's a little more complicated. Uh, I, I did the uh, same, put my browser back up. I did the same thing back over here. I, I went to Google and typed in Cedar RGB color, and I, I went to images so I could see all the different colors that people come up with that they call Cedar, okay? And then um, this one, appealed to me the most here okay the western red cedar color here because cedar is one of those weird colors that as it ages it turns gray if you don't have a stain on it okay so i you may find one that you like differently i uh, you know i'm okay with that but i like this one here the best I, I, and these are the numbers i want to use the rgb code numbers here all right, so now this one gets a little more difficult. Um, because what I did, I came over here to my clapboard siding, and I, I right-clicked, and I duplicated it, renamed it Siding Clapboard Cedar. Came right here. I typed in the RGB code that I wanted to use, okay, the 122, 55, 42. Now, the problem is on the appearance side. Okay, because this one has to be edited. It's an image. And it's a little more difficult. So what I did is I clicked here and I, I looked here. Where is it located at on my hard drive? <clears throat> and this, I don't know if it will become an issue uh, if you move one computer to another computer. I don't know that. But assuming the rest of the semester you'll be 
working from home, I don't think we're going to have a problem this semester. So, using my Windows Explorer, I, I took my, you know, one of my things here, uh, right click, so I could go open, and I edited it with uh, Paint 3D, uh, because that's what's installed on my computer. Yours, you may have just regular paint, that will work fine also, so you can right click it and go edit with Paint 3D. And let me close out of this and, okay, so here's my paint program. And, and here's the image, it's a PNG image, and it's got the background stuff already in. So what I did is I came over here to, uh, and yours will be similar, okay, so I, I chose a brush. I went up here for the bucket for fill, because I'm just gonna fill the whole thing. And I went a new color down here if you go add a color and here you can type in those RGB codes okay so I typed those in and I've been playing with it and I, I think a, an opacity of 60% is going to work out okay for us and then I just come in here and start clicking or you could select the whole thing and fill the whole thing at one time oops did a double whammy okay and there's one little strip at the top right there I think that's I don't think there's one at the bottom no okay and now I wanted to do a save as And I've already done it once, but I'm going to go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to save it as a Cedar PNG, but I'm saving it in a different location than where it normally was. <clears throat> um, problem I ran into is you want, it needs administrator approval to save it. You may be able to do that. And you may be able to, uh, to blow through it. Let me see, because it's... Here's where it's located at. So if you go... You know, um, my this PC, the C drive, program files 86, common, I'll just shared materials, textures, one, mats. You should be able you, try, you can try and save it there. You may have to blow through um, administrator approval. No thanks. Okay. Or, as I did, I saved it. Excuse me. I, I just saved it where I save all my regular Revit stuff. And then I copied it. And pasted it. And I'm going to replace it because I've already done it once. But I did an edit to it. And so here you need administrator permission. I'm going to go continue. And it, and it copied it for me. It may save it for you if you try that. Um just have to see okay and so I'm changing out my clapboard siding to use the cedar and on my appearance that's I click right there and then I can scroll down and choose my cedar image I'm using a PNG image here okay and so you can see the changes that it makes and this is just on my shaded if I go to my realistic, okay, so it doesn't look exactly like cedar siding, but that's kind of how it looks. Um, so let me reset this and put my awning back in. <clears throat> now I've got my awning kind of dark. Well, and there's, there's not much lighting here. I don't remember what color I made my awning. I don't know. Anyway, we're not doing a lot of we're not doing any rendering in this class. Although the next in the advanced 3D class we will be rendering. Okay. Oh yeah, I made the awning and the parapet stuff up there the same color. And I think it's it's a copper. I used a copper. That's what I used. Okay. So that's that. If you got questions, um, 
shoot me an email. I would say come in the lab, but we can come into WebEx right now. Um, and we can certainly help you out with that.